percentages. It's a question on election contest. I'm going to read these two questions rapidly. They're, they're linked questions. I'm going to assume you've read the question. If you've not read it, hit pause, read the question, see what the difference between these two, and then go on to the video. Right. An election contested by two candidates, the winning candidate gets 28% more votes than the losing candidate. The losing candidate got 144,000 votes. How many votes did the winning candidate get? Assume that there were no invalid votes. Right. This is a very standard caveat. Second question, an election contested by two candidates, the winning candidate got 28% of the total votes, more than the losing candidate. The losing candidate got 144,000. How many did the winning candidate get? Right. This, is, this is a nice little difference between these two. Figure out that difference. Think about what that what difference it makes to the computation. Then go on, then go on and try to solve it. Okay. I'm going to go one at a time. The first part of this, winning candidate gets 28% more votes than this. So losing candidate gets L. Winning candidate would get L plus 28% of L. Quite simple, you get 28% more than what the losing candidate gets. 28% of what? 28% of whatever the losing candidate got. So the winning candidate will get 144,000 into 1.28. This is 1L. This is 0.28L. Totally winning candidate gets 1.28 times L. Losing candidate gets 144,000. 144,000 into 1.28. Compute that, multiply, figure out whatever that number is. And as it turns out, that number is this. 184320. This is very simple. I'm not going to do the computation part. That is simple. All we are saying is L plus 0.28L is what W is. Let's go to the second part of it, which is a more interesting part. The 28% of the total votes more than the losing candidate. Now, this total vote, let it be X. Winning candidate gets W. Losing candidate gets L. L is 144,000. We know that. Right? We are told winning candidate gets more than the losing candidate, how much more? 28% of X more than L. So you get L plus 28% of X. Remember in the previous question, it was L plus 28% of L. Now this is 20, L plus 28% of X. Now we know X is W plus L, you're done. So you're gonna say W equals L plus 0.28 times L plus W or W equals L plus 0.28 L plus 0.28 W or 0.72 W is 1.28 L. We've got something linking W and L. We have compute this, substitute this number as L, we'll get W and then we can find total votes and all that. Or how many votes did the winning candidate get? What were the total number of votes? All of that we can simplify. I'm going to do the math part here. We know 0.72 W is 1.28 L or W is 128 by 72 times L. And so I'm going to find the actual number W equals 128 by 72 times 144,000. This is just 2000 or W is 256,000. Losing candidate course 144,000. Total number of votes, the difference between the votes, some of the votes, all of that we can find. The critical thing here from the first question and the second question, the first question you're saying winning candidate got 28% more votes. 28% of what? 28% of whatever the losing candidate got. The second question we're saying 28% of the total votes more than that of the losing candidate. So winning candidate gets L plus 28% of X. It's a very important distinction. So look for this. If you look for this, we'll get it right. Don't be in a hurry and gloss this over. Right? So, just going to recap this. Any question on percentages, think about what is the percentage number given? What is this a percentage of? Right? The standard question would be, Ram spent 20% of his income on, on education and 40% of his expenses on entertainment. So the, the basis of the percentage could change from question one to question two. You need to keep your eye open for that. So keep that in mind. Right? This Ram scored 10% more than Krishna and Ram scored 10% of the total marks more than Krishna, they are very different. So in this case, if Krishna had scored 70, if Ram scored 10% more than Krishna, this first case, that means Ram would have scored 77. If Krishna scored 70%, Ram would have scored 77%. The second part, Ram scored 10% of the total marks more than Krishna. So if Krishna scored 70%, Ram would have scored 80%. So there's a, there's a big difference between this first statement 
under second half of the statement. 10% more than Krishna, 1.1 into what Krishna scored. 10% of the total marks more than Krishna, then 10% of total needs to be added to whatever Krishna has scored. So that distinction is very vital. If you pick that difference, if you know that you have to look for the difference, you'll find that. Just don't switch off during this topic. Continuously look for what is this a percentage of and keep an eye open for that.